Welcome back. Bottom of the hour and alert day in effect tonight for some storm potential in the area right now. You were looking at your radar and the live returns on what has moved through and what could be Melissa building back to the west. Yeah, a little one two punch here. Thanks so much for joining us on WTOL 11 News at 530. I'm Melissa Andrews and I'm Jeff Smith. I love that creative photography. Everybody <laughs> thinks they're looking at one thing. You're looking at another. It's awesome. That's what we do around That's here. Right. We want to also get you to your WTOL 11 forecast on this alert day as those storms move out and maybe back into our area. Yeah, let's check in with both Chief Meteorologist Chris Vickers and Meteorologist John Birchfield standing by. So Chris, let's start about maybe round two and what we're thinking here. That's what our concerns going to be as we go into the evening tonight, the second round of storms. But at this point right now, the first round is now officially over with the last of the severe warnings have been allowed to expire across our area. That one just expiring moments ago at 530 for Erie and Huron County. But that cluster of storms now pushing to the east, still some very vivid lightning and downpours east of Norwalk, south on 250, uh, just south of town. And I do expect uh, that threat of any wind damage has now ceased across much of Erie and Huron County. Did get reports of large hail, wind damage back over toward our lakeshore areas. And how about here in the Toledo Metro? Numerous reports of wind gusts of 50 to 60 miles per hour. And those storms really rattling the area as they came through around mid afternoon. Reports of wind damage widespread across much of the Toledo Metro, including this. And we're going to be continuing to report live out toward Point Place. Some of the wind damage, that tree that toppled over, really some significant damage uh, to the roof and to that house that was 299 in Ottawa River. Uh, satellite radar picture. So what's next? We're going to have quiet weather the next couple of hours, but already recharging the atmosphere. Some sun breaking out west of town, and that's going to allow those uh, clusters of storms that we're seeing across lower Michigan begin to redevelop, and the indication is this is going to turn into a cluster of storms that then is going to sweep into northwest Ohio and southern Michigan. Bottom line with this, we're going to be talking the potential of round number two that arrives tonight. Let's get the latest on that. Let's send it over to meteorologist John Perchfield. And John, if one round wasn't enough, what do we need to know about round number two? Yeah, Chris, not out of the woods just yet. And this second round could certainly pack a punch with some strong to even severe thunderstorms. And like that first round, we're going to keep a close eye on some strong gusty winds. That'll be the primary impact. You can see the individual breakdown of the storm threats on the left side of your screen. Winds could gust up to 60 miles an hour, and that could cause even additional damage and outages as well. Hail is going to be a potential threat as well, and the tornado risk is on the lower end of the spectrum. But we'll keep a very close eye on potentially rotating thunderstorms. Here's a look ahead to the hour by hour forecast. That first batch of storms slides off into eastern Ohio. We achieve some briefly quiet weather and you may see a few glimpses of sunshine. And then by about 8 p.m. you'll notice a cluster of thunderstorms riding along the lakeshore moving in from the northwest to southeast. And by midnight that cluster will finally have cleared on out. But let's say from 8 to 12 that is going to be another time period. You'll want to stay weather alert with that WTOL 11 weather app. Melissa. All right, John, thanks so much. We're also continuing to keep an eye on power outages in our area tonight. Right now, Toledo Edison is estimating a nearly 28,000 customers in Lucas County are without power right now. Erie County has a little more than 1,000 without power. Monroe County is at about 6,000. And Lenaway County is just under 4,000. Don't forget, some of those uh, traffic lights are out as well, so treat those as a four-way stop. Let your family know. A uh, little reminder there. Tatiana Cash continues our team coverage tonight live in Point Place. Last time we talked to her, uh, she was in front of a house with a tree yeah. on top of the roof. And obviously everybody out there still a little gun shy after the tornado that swept through there just a few weeks ago. Tatiana, bring us an update. What are you seeing now? Well, unfortunately, fortunately, we're at another house with a tree into it as well. I'm going to step out of frames here so you can see what exactly is going on. We do have family members here working to kind of figure this out. The good news is that the couple who lives here currently not home at the time, but as you can see, the giant tree that was right next to his home completely into the actual house itself. Uh, the good news is, again, no power lines have been pulled down. They say that they're trying to figure it out themselves because, again, relatives are here working to kind of figure out and clean up this mess of what's going on. This is actually a private neighborhood, and they're the first house on the corner, so actually trying to get into this neighborhood is going to be a little bit of a struggle for you because of the fact of all of the 
tree debris that's going on right now. But again, I'm at uh, 148 and Edgewater Drive. This is a private residence in terms of just like this whole neighborhood. So they're working together to kind of get this home clear because these people are not home right now. And a little bit heartbreaking in the sense of the fact that, you know, they've been living here for the last 50 some years. So this is a bit of a shock for them. They received the phone call a little bit earlier today, but good news again. No one is injured. However, not so great news. You've got a tree in your house and that's a whole new thing that they need to work on fixing. So here in Point Place, a little bit north of where I just was about 30 minutes ago, Tatiana Cash, WTOL 11. All right, so obviously what Chris and John were talking about, those straight line winds rolling through, did some damage with some of those trees. Uh, be sure you download the WTOL 11 weather app. It is free. You can take it wherever you go and take a peek at Doppler radar anytime. See what may be coming down to your street. It is once again free from your smartphone or tablet.